Hey guys, in this video I will be teaching you how to perform a regression analysis on Microsoft Excel 2016 on a Mac. Regression analysis might sound like a tricky concept, but in reality it is actually very simple. Regression analysis is just a fancy word for the point-slope formula, and for all of those who don't know exactly what that is, it is the equation y equals mx plus b. Right there. And that is when you know a point on a line and its intercept, then you should be able to calculate the slope of the line. So with that in mind, here we have some records from the NFL on a variety of performance data for a random sample of teams during the 2011 football season. The following data shows the conference that the teams are in, the average number of passing yards per attempt, the number of interceptions per attempt, and the percentage of games won for each team. So by performing different regression analyses, we should be able to predict the percentage of games won given these variables. Let's take a look. So to create our first regression analysis, we're going to click on Data, and Data Analysis. See this menu? We're going to click on the Regression button, and we're going to have our Y range, the dependent range, be the winning percentage, which is already highlighted for us. I'm just going to highlight it again, so we're just going to drag the cursor over. And then we are going to have our X range, or the independent range, be the yards per attempt. So just drag that over, and then we're going to have labels checked because we dragged over the labels as well. And also we're going to have confidence level checked because that's usually a regression analysis standard to have, it, have the confidence level at 95%. And then we're not going to mess with the residuals because it's unnecessary. And we're going to have the analysis spit out on a new worksheet. So we're good here. Click OK. That's done. The computer did that for us. Let's zoom in a little bit. And so really the only thing we need to look at here is the R squared value because we're not calculating the um, percentage of games won for a certain team. We're just calculating the percentage of games won for a team that's you know maybe not on this list. So we can see that the R square is 0.577 and if we translate that into a percentage it is about 57.7 percent. Okay and I mean going back if we're going to use the point slope formula we really don't have to in this case but if we do we are going to have the equation be y equals 16.39, and I got that from this coefficient area right here for the yards per attempt, times x, or minus actually, uh, minus this 58.77. So that's our equation to get this, but we only needed to use the r-squared value because this is just all the averages of all the teams here to, in order to make predictions. Okay, so now for our second regression analysis, we will develop an equation that can be used to predict the percentage of games won for all teams, given the number of interceptions thrown per attempt. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. Click on the data, data tab, hit data analysis, click on regression, hit okay. Y range is still the same at the winning percentage. Now for the X range, we're gonna have it be the interception per attempt column. Labels stay the same, confidence level stays the same, no residuals, have it spit out on the new worksheet, all good, click OK. There it is again, we're just going to zoom it in. And same instance, we're just going to look at the R squared because this is the averages of all the values and we don't know what team we're actually looking for. So this R squared value is 0.437, so the percentage translates really to 43. You know, 8%. So if we're going to do the equation again, the equation would be y equals negative 1600.49 plus 97.54. And I just got that from the coefficients right there. So that's our equation to get this, but since it was the averages and we're not specifically looking for what team, we just need to look at the r squared. Okay, so for our final regression analysis, we will develop a regression equation to predict the percentage of games won by the Kansas City Chiefs. They are not on this chart, however. 
So we're going to use um, the number of interceptions thrown per attempt and the average number of passing yards to create this equation. So this is considered a multiple regression analysis since there are two independent variables. We're going to do the same thing, hit the data tab, data analysis button, click on regression, have the winning percentage be our Y range again. And for the X range, we are going to have be the yards per attempt and the interceptions per attempt since it's the multiple regression. Going to leave everything the same, put it on a new worksheet, hit OK. Zoom it in a little bit. And at this point, I should probably tell you that um, the data that I was given for this instance, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, they had um, a yards per attempt, a passing yards per attempt of 6.2, and a inter interceptions thrown um, of 0 0.036. So that's some data we need to use for uh, in order to create our equation. So we're going to go back here, and we are going to look at the intercept or the uh, coefficients again, and make our equation. So the y equals twelve point nine four times the six point two, which was the passing, uh, which was the passing yards per attempt, plus or actually minus, my bad, sorry, minus the 1,083.79, let's round that up a little bit, times the 0 0.036, because that was the interceptions, and then we're just going to subtract that whole thing by 5.76. Because that's the, the y intercept for us. So that's our equation. And if we're actually going to go ahead and perform that, we're going to format this a little bit better. We're just going to leave this equal sign and then leave all this together. Uh, and then uh, going to hit enter. Oops. Sorry, I did that wrong. Okay, yeah. And now it spits out the 35.45. And we can round that up to 35.5 if we want, express it as a percent, because that's the percent that we just got of the games won of the Kansas City Chiefs. Oops, sorry, go back to that. And I'm just gonna leave it how it is. But that is the percentage of the games won that the Kansas City Chiefs actually uh, had in the 2011 season. I think they were about seven and nine that year. So yeah, that's how, we perform a regression analysis in Excel. Thanks for watching. Hope you come back for more.